The Manchester Township Police Department Investigations Bureau would like to present a brief PowerPoint about scam awareness. The purpose of this presentation is to make the community more aware of the common scams that are taking place in Manchester Township. We'll touch on some key points so that you're able to recognize these scams in the event you should receive an unusual telephone call or even a concerning email. Keep in mind that the caller or sender may introduce themselves to you as a representative of a legitimate business or from a government agency, and they'll request that you provide them with your personal information. They may impose that you make a purchase or make a payment through a money order, a money gram, a gift card, a green dot card, an iTunes card, or a vanilla credit card. They might even request immediate funds from your bank account in the form of an electronic money transfer. You should always question anyone requesting payment through any one of these methods. The caller or the sender may even threaten you with false arrest or other legal problems in the event that you do not comply. Just remember that it's extremely important to safeguard your personal information. Do not, under any circumstances, give anyone your personal information. You should always verify the legitimacy of the business or government agency trying to contact you. You can request that any correspondence be sent through the mail and advise the representative that you need time to make a decision. A legitimate place of business or government agency will cooperate with you. If it sounds as if the caller or sender is becoming too assertive or too demanding, then it's likely a scam. They won't force you to act before you have time to think about what you're doing. To give you some idea of what we're experiencing in Manchester Township, in 2019, Township residents reported over 350 cases of fraud. The most common scams, although there are many others, include the following scams. And we'll talk briefly about each one of them. The first would be the lottery scams. Keep in mind you did not win the lottery. If it sounds too good to be true, it likely is. These scams present the notion that you won the lottery or you're to receive some substantial amount of money or some prize, such as a new car. Usually these scams are sent in the form of an email and they'll contain in that email some contact information for you to contact the scammer. Once you contact them, they will ask you to send money to pay for the taxes or other fees. They lead you to believe that your prize will not be released until after you send the money. Just be certain that there is no prize. You are simply giving away your money. A Manchester resident was the victim of a lottery scam where the person gave away over $200,000 with the belief that they would receive a larger sum of money as a result of winning the lottery. Another scam that we commonly see is the Windows computer scam. This type of scam is designed to allow remote access to your personal computer so that the scammer can obtain your personal information that might be stored in your computer. So if you receive a telephone call from an unknown person claiming to be a representative of a computer or software company, do not provide them with any information or perform any functions on your computer that will allow access to your computer. Just hang up the phone. If you suspect that your computer might have a virus, then contact a legitimate computer repair service. Be aware of a relative in jail scam. If you receive a telephone call about a relative in jail who needs bail money, it's a scam. The person claiming to be a relative that is demanding money will attempt to pressure you into sending money immediately. And this is not how the judicial system works. If a relative was in jail, they would contact you directly. And if you're uncertain who the person claiming to be a relative is, then ask them some personal questions that only they may know. Yet another scam is the IRS scam. You can be contacted by email or telephone by a person claiming to be a representative of the IRS. That person will claim that you owe the IRS money for previous taxes that you haven't paid. They will lead you to believe that you can pay your debt by electronically transferring money from your bank account or by purchasing gift cards and providing that gift card number to them over the phone. They will make the matter sound urgent and scare you into believing that if you don't comply, you may be arrested or encounter other legal problems. Keep in mind that the IRS will not contact you by phone or email. They will send you correspondence through the mail. Visit www.irs.gov for any additional information regarding these types of scams and how to protect yourself. Watch out for utility scams. Similar to the IRS scam, scammers will contact you and pretend to be your local utility company. They'll instruct you to send money or gift cards so that you can avoid interruption in your service. Keep in mind this is just another high pressure scam designed to make you feel afraid so that you don't have time to think about your decision to send money. Fraudulent job postings are now on the rise. Scammers are now posting illegitimate jobs to various job search websites. A person applying for a job may be sent an email requesting personal information. The person is also given a specific task. 
such as sending money, checks, or purchasing supplies for the fake job. And lastly, be suspicious of any unfamiliar packages that you might receive in the mail. A phone call may follow from a person agreeing to pay you for you to resend that package to another address. You will not get paid thousands of dollars to accept the package and resend it to someone else. You are only acting as an agent for a large scale scam. In any event, if you have any doubts that you're being scammed or if you were the victim of a scam, please contact the Manchester Township Police Department. This situation can usually be handled very easily. However, once you send money, it's already too late. The chances of us getting back your money once it's sent are highly unlikely. So call before you act. For more information on scams, please visit scamawareness.org.